Uh, are we live? live. At Suzy Fed, are we live? You're live. Wanski, what's going on, dude? I'm alive. You're alive. Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. All right, and there's a lot of stuff to actually talk about today. Uh, we're here to talk about Game of Thrones. We're here to talk about the tick on Amazon Prime. We're here to talk about um, the DC screwed up, fucked up, expanded universe. By the way, we curse. It says explicit for all you people that don't like curse words. Um, and uh, we're also here to talk about the VMAs, which happened last night, as well as Taylor Swift, because the show is called Atomic Pop. Pop, short for popular culture. So I think it would be um, irresponsible of us to omit Taylor Swift and the VMAs, since that's a huge part of pop culture as well. This isn't just about comic books and all that fun shit, right, Juan? I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, so I'm down. Are you really a Taylor Swift fan? I'm a huge fan. I am not really a big fan. There's like two songs I like from her ever, and the rest I'm just like, I, I'm not a big I fan. I think she's great. I, I respect her talent, but I'm not a huge fan. So anyways, Taylor Swift uh, debuted her song Thursday called uh, um, Look What You Made Me Do. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she debuted her video last night live on the MTV Video Music Awards, a.k.a. VMAs, which is hosted by Katy Perry, which we all know is a um, so-called nemesis. They hate right, each other. Right. Swish, Swish, the the single by Katy Perry, is apparently about Taylor Swift. and But look what you made me do. Bad Blood was... Bad Blood was supposedly about uh, Katy Perry. And so, a few other ones. Yeah. And, but apparently look what you made me do, the new Taylor Swift song, is about Kanye West. Um, wasn't Kendrick Lamar on Bad Blood? Kendrick Lamar was on That's Bad crazy. Blood. Okay. He wasn't on the album cut right. on her 1989 album, but he was on the video. He was on the radio version, okay. and I thought it was I thought it was much better. And actually, there's actually a remix of Bad Blood, which actually fucking kicks ass. I forget mm -hmm. who did it, and I wish I could give them credit right now, but I, I it, maybe I'll look up into it. I'll let you guys know later. It just drops hard. Um, but anyway, so Taylor Swift uh, dropped the song. What did you think of the song, first off? Well, the song I thought was bad. It was terrible. It kind of sounded like Fergie. All right, and and the the one of the co-writers on the song is this guy who was on the VMAs last night. Um, I forget what his name is, but he's part of the group Fun, uh, and uh, it it's it. He also co-wrote Into the Woods, which was by Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. um, he he co-wrote Lord's entire new album, and um, whatever. So, uh, I, you thought it sounded like Fergie? I thought it sounded like All Me So Horny by Two Live Crew. Uh, maybe, you know, it's, it's got yeah. boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom. Look, look what you made me do. It was like Oh I'm Me So Horny. I, I think her voice uh, sounds like Fergie in that in that song though. Yes, yes, I could totally see that. I don't think she's doing anything revolutionary. Like people are like, "Oh my God, this is so like cutting." I don't think it's that. I don't. I think, think a lot of people hated it. I, I think the Swifters or whatever you call them, the Swifties, whatever her fans are, are adoring it. Uh -huh. And then I think people that don't like it are just like it's whatever. Yeah. You know? Um, did you watch the video? Yes, I did. What'd you think? Well, I think that at the the, the smallest, at her, at the most innocuous, like um. Taylor Swift is definitely a Satanist. Um, at worst, she's actually a lizard. She's reptilian. You think that's what the video represents? Yeah, absolutely. But you don't believe she's actually that in real life? Yes. But you just said you like Taylor Swift. Yes, I do. And I, you know, Aren't I like, you a God-fearing man? I'm trying to get rid of my devilish ways. So you're trying to purge yourself of Taylor Swift? I am. Because she's definitely a uh, Illuminati. I think what <laughs> happened to uh, Taylor Swift is... Uh, that time that she disappeared off social media and everything is because two things happened. Number one, she was doing her rituals. Number two, she was actually killed by the Illuminati and replaced. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. Stop. No, that's why the song in the song it says that she's dead. And then you have all the representations of her. Oh, so, so know? this is And hold on. The, the, reason, the real Taylor Swift is dead. The actual physical body Taylor yeah, Swift. Yeah, just like Avril Lavigne happened. Like that happened to her in like 2009. So, so whoever is posing as Taylor Swift now is like. Is uh, a reptilian. And the whole reason is because Taylor <laughs> Swift was exposing. Do you hear uh, birds? She, she, no, no, no. She was she was exposing this pizza restaurant in Washington D.C. that trafficked in children. What you're gonna scare no, our the, fans? The triangles right now. were representation of pedophilia, uh, whoa, and because whoa, she was whoa. exposing them, she got killed and replaced. That's what the song is. Wow, look what you made me do. That's what look what you made me do. You see? Wow. Okay. That I was mean, Illuminati's message. But we, is it Kanye part of the Illuminati? I'm absolute, confused. Absolutely, he's part of the Illuminati. 
Taylor Swift was not. She was raining against them. Was why she needed to be replaced. Oh, okay. She was exposing them. Okay. Got, wow. Wow. That just got really deep and crazy fucked up. But cool. That's All what right. the video is about. All right. Well, here's um, <laughs> my impression of the video is that Taylor Swift, you know, I don't know. She had her Red album, which was still her kind of being country but not really her 1989 album was her shedding her country persona and just being more like pop competing with the likes of Katy Perry and stuff like that um and then this one I guess she's even trying to shed it even more at the end of the I thought the end of the video was the best part when you saw all the different versions of Taylor Swift the country teenage version the VMA version she was even wearing the same outfit uh, they had the ballerina one from the shake it off video yeah. um, so I and she was just like they were totally like, all her different personalities were talking I think she comes off a little cr cuckoo crazy here you know like I'm dead multiple personalities like like um, I, I don't know I don't like the song Period. Um, no, the song is terrible, but... For our viewers, I, I play in a band locally, a cover band, a wedding band. I hope it's not popular because I really don't want to play this song. That's all I got to say. And it, you know what? If you put Katy Perry against uh, uh, Taylor Swift, they're both in a single, Swish Swish versus Look What You Made Me Do. I hate both of the songs. But if I got to pick one, I'm going to pick Swish Swish. I think Swish Swish jams out harder. Plus, they added Nicki Minaj to it, and it's even better now because I have a I have a celebrity crush and, on Nicki and, Minaj. And for me, it's definitely Taylor Swift, and you know, rest in peace, the real one. And we'll see what happens now. Wow. Okay. Well, did you watch the VMAs? Um, no, I did not. I did watch the VMAs. You I don't, I don't like I don't like pop music, man. The only the only thing I did is I went back and watched uh, the Kendrick Lamar uh, performance. Yeah, uh, which was it was like a medley of. Students. It was a medley of you know yeah. uh, DNA and uh, humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, listen, this is what I'll say about MTV VMAs. I've watched them practically every single year since I was a kid. Me being a musician myself, I think MTV has taken a really down slope. I don't know what they're doing. It, 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 it's overly political. They they spend a lot of time talking about Charlottesville, which I understand, but they only plugged. What's going on in Texas once? Katy Perry said it once. No one that gave speeches uh, gave any blessings or anything to the people of Texas, and I think that's the most relevant thing happening. Um, not to say that, not to downplay what happened in Charlottesville by any mean. They also took a lot of time to combat suicide, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard. They, they did a, they did a, they did a, um, they did a tribute to Chris Cornell as well as Chester Bennington. More emphasis on Chester than Chris. Chris kind of just got a little plug, but it was yeah. really about Chester at the end of the day. And then I thought the highlight of the show actually was to the rapper Logic, mm -hmm. um, who I didn't even know existed until last night. And along with, um, who's the chick that sings your scars to your beautiful? Pink. No, not pink. Scars, oh. you're beautiful. Oh. Fucking, what's her name? Uh, Haley, not Haley, not, um, come on, as Susie Fett. No, we don't watch the VMAs. Well, either, oh man, it's going to drive me crazy. Anyways, she was on, it was actually really good. It was really, really good. That was probably the highlight. If you didn't see it, you need to check it out. It was a guy I'll named, check it out. I thought, the Kendrick, I thought the, the Kendrick Lamar performance was awesome. I'm really happy that he won his awards. He definitely deserved them. Um, Kendrick Lamar was good, but I don't think he's the best of the year. Here's the problem with MTV. They they didn't represent music. There was no Justin Bieber. There was no Luis Fonsi, which I don't care what you say. That is the song of the summer. And instead, uh, this other guy got the award. But Despacito, whether you hate it or love it, is the song of the summer. With Wild Thoughts by Rihanna and DJ Khaled coming to second close. Okay, second, uh, close second place. And... And uh, DJ Khaled didn't didn't win anything either. It, it was it was strange. So there was no Justin Bieber there, no Luis Fonsi, no The Weeknd. Bruno Mars wasn't there. Rihanna wasn't there. Basically, everyone that is a uh, part of Charlie Puth wasn't there, and he's got a bunch of songs. Selena Gomez, all these people that are, Calvin Harris, they they just were not there. They weren't present. the The biggest star there was Kedrick Lamar, and 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 I guess you could say Katy Perry because she was the host. And but but her music really isn't as relevant as what's happening right now. So MTV, I think, dropped the ball as far as like well, it's being... part of the reason I don't watch MTV anymore or those types of ch shows is just because I know it it gets political. Yeah, and no, it, it totally got political. And I'm just I mean, not interested. Yeah, you know, I'm why. Am I mean, I, I'm all not, the all the award shows get a little political. Well, I, think. I, that, yeah. I and I, and I'm not saying I just avoid. I avoid all the award shows because. Yeah. That's but not what I'm going for. What I'm trying to say is like MTV is supposed to represent music, and I think they did a bad job at representing popular music today as a whole because all 
two thirds of what is the mainstream popular music was not represented yesterday, and therefore I give it a thumbs down. I the VMAs was misrepresented. Yeah, I, I haven't of, watched of, it in years. I don't care. I'm glad if you guys haven't listened to Kendrick Lamar's album, you need to go purchase it right now. No, it's the, amazing. The, yeah, no, the, the, when will that stop? I don't know. But what the fact? Yeah, the fact. It's your favorite person. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> I want to talk about it. Anyways, so, yes. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, ch- anyways, check out the Taylor Swift songs. You get your own opinion. Uh, check out uh, uh, Swish Swish. Watch the highlights from the VMAs. Make up your own mind. Check out this Logic guy. He did really good, actually. Um, yeah. But uh, Look for the number 13 in the video. It's all over the place. Look for triangles. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, enough about Taylor Swift and music in general. Let's move on to the next thing. Uh, last week, DC, mo well, actually Warner Brothers, I, I think has lost their mind. They have absolutely lost their fucking mind. They have a template for how to have a successful integrated movie universe just by copying Marvel and what Kevin Feige did. But instead, they are off the rails, and it seems like they're doing whatever they want. If you guys don't know, they announced a Joker movie, a standalone Joker movie, yeah. which is out of canon. It is not part of the DCEU. They also said the Joker Harley movie that they announced with with um, Margot Robbie and Jared Leto still will exist, but now will be paired with Birds of Prey. Not Birds of Prey. Um, Gotham, Gotham City, City Sirens. Sirens yeah. Okay. Um, and then they said that Suicide Squad 2 is now on the fast track all of a sudden. They've, they've greenlit that, and it's on the fast track to come out, and we'll feature Jared Leto again and all those people. But the Joker movie is standalone, and apparently Martin Scorsese is producing the Joker movie. I don't know if you knew that. No. Which is cool, but it's totally out of the timeline, which makes it, you know, confusing. At, at, uh, and as well, Matt Reeves was rumored to have his Batman trilogy be totally independent of the DCEU also, which would lead to why it's been rumored that Ben Affleck will not be a part of, you know, this thing because it's not even part of the DCEU. It, it might be like post-origin story. Who the hell knows? But... You know, Matt Reeves came back later and said, oh, no, my movie is part of the DCEU, but no one really knows. No one knows what is going on over there. Who's in charge? I don't know who's in charge. Because we all know, like, Kevin Feige runs a ship over at Marvel. Yes. I mean, apparently, like, of course it's Warner Brothers. Of course Disney and all those people. But do they have a structure set up like Marvel does? Well, it it was supposed to be, what's his name? The, the... Whedon? Not Whedon, the other guy. The guy that the guy that dropped out because his because his, because his family tragedy. The, oh, Snyder. Snyder. It was Snyder was apparently the ringmaster of uh, of what's going on. No. And um, well, he's been exposed because it's, it's a mess. It, it it's a mess, and Whedon's redoing everything, and and uh, it, it's I don't know what's going on over there, but I am I'm concerned. Yeah. I'm concerned. Justice League comes out in a couple months. I'm gonna watch it. I'm excited, but. It, it it could very well be a mess. Justice League has also been confirmed now to be a direct sequel to Batman vs Superman, as it should be, because yeah. it's all quote unquote connected. I guess you could say, but I, I don't. I don't. How, I, how can DC botch this so bad? It botched it with the TV shows, and is doing the same thing with the universe. It's confusing. We don't know what's what's. I'm not going to blame DC. I'm blaming Warner Brothers. No, yeah, sure, someone. I don't give it, all of them. It it it's bad though. It's no. it's not good. And are they still making that Nightwing movie and and Batgirl? And they're supposed to, uh, but it, it hasn't started yet. The only movies that are that are in production right now is, of course, Justice League and Aquaman. Those are the only ones that are on the books that are definitely like have started shooting. You know what I mean? Oh, so now it's on silent. But now you're even looking at your phone more. We're live. We're live, Wonski. Yeah, I'm, I'm texting guys. So. Wow. A legal thing. Wow. It's important. Illegal? No, it's not illegal. It's oh, a legal. A legal thing. Yeah. So Illuminati. Illegal, um, yeah. Yeah. No, not Illuminati. Yeah. Anyway, so I fight the Illuminati. Uh, DCEU is seems to be in disarray. I think it's going to affect ticket sales too. Yeah, I would you know, I could see that. Cuz they're getting a lot of bad press right now and just like Fantastic 4 got a lot of bad press, no one went to go see it. Just like all these other movies that get bad press, no one goes to see it. You know, Batman versus Superman got bad press. It's a press. shame because um you thought with Wonder Woman they were finally turning a corner, right? And now we just... Yeah, I don't know. 
Oh. I don't know. So that's DC. Would you even want to see a Joker standalone movie? What are they going to make him an anti-hero or something? You know what? I don't want to know his origin. I do not want to know his origin. I don't want to see it on yeah. TV or in a movie or anything like that. I don't want to know what his real name is. I don't want to know where he came from. I don't want to know about his upbringing. Oh, oh we, Jeff Johns. We we had we had a call. We had a call to the store to talk about the show. Well, thank well, you very thank much you. for the call. You can also comment on Facebook or Instagram and at Suzy Fett. We'll but but Je- Je- yeah. it wasn't Jeff Johns from the beginning. I, I understand. Jeff Johns is part Jeff of. Jeff Johns is new. He joined Je- recently. Well, no, he's been around for like at least a year plus now, for with, sure. With with the DC. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But like, but Jeff Johns co-wrote the Batman script with Ben Affleck, and Matt Reeves came in and threw it out. Oh, well. Which I think is crazy. Because yeah. I would imagine a Jeff Johns slash Ben Affleck script would be amazing. Is probably pretty good. Yeah. You know? Cause Who's ben Matt Reeves? What has he done? Uh, he Planet of the Apes. The last two Planet of the Apes movies. That's all he's done. Cloverfield, the first one. Uh-huh. Cloverfield was great. Yeah. It's the best Godzilla movie ever. Cloverfield was amazing. Yeah. But, I mean. Second Cloverfield was awful. You know what? And I'm not against Matt Reeves taking over and reshaping the way he wants to do things yeah. in his vision because obviously he's coming out with some good products. But keep it together because you're going to confuse the audience, especially if you have multiple Batmans, multiple Jokers, all coming out in like relatively the same time. I still don't want to see a Joker movie. I don't want to see a Joker Harley movie. What's that? I don't either. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be like like it would be like the Suicide Squad director's cut, which is uh, more Joker and Harley. Yeah. You know, which don't get me wrong, I don't mind looking at Ro- Margot Robbie and all that stuff like that, but it's unnecessary, you know? I think they're going to try to kill me. Who is? The Illuminati. <laughs> Maybe you put them out there, man. No. It's possible. I might be replaced with someone. All right, so that's happier. DCEU. Um, what, the Tick. The Tick debuted on Amazon Prime. Listen, guys. First of all, it's a quick watch. There's only six episodes. Yeah. They're all about 30 minutes long. And I'm five out of six episodes in, and it is – it's great. It's very funny. It's great. It's not like laugh out loud funny. Like I'm not like, oh, ah, but, no. but it, it definitely makes you – Well, there's a couple parts. Where there's I a couple parts, but, it, but it, makes you, it makes you smile. They ca- – the guy playing the Tick captured the essence of the Tick in the cartoon from the 90s yeah. so well. Even his voice is on point. The guy that plays Arthur is amazing. Um, I don't want to spoil it yet. I don't want to spoil it yet. We'll talk about it later. We'll give you guys an opportunity to watch it. Uh, but uh, it is it's great. It's worth. I think Amazon Prime is what, $9, $10 a month? I have no idea. It's like Netflix, but just not as much original content they have movies right. it's like what if netflix and itunes came together because mm-hmm. you can buy m- movies and music and download them like you yeah. can on itunes but you can also stream stuff like you can on netflix right. and and netflix let's be real uh, amazon is just going to grow more and more the guy that owns amazon is the is the richest man in the world apparently Bezos. and yeah. and uh and amazon is just going to become this media mecca so Get Amazon Prime. Watch The Tick. It is definitely worth The Tick's worth the only it. thing on there that's really worth watching. Well, you know what? Then sign up for the 30-day free yeah. trial. Watch The Tick and then cancel it. Either way, it's, really, it's worth watch it. The yeah, Tick. No, there's also that other show about if if uh, if if we lost World War II. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think I'm just going to cancel use- that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to use your account for yeah. that. So. Are, are we still live? Yeah, you're live. Okay, yeah. Um. The Tick, very funny. Tick is great. Check it out. Tick is in it. Arthur is in it. They got some new characters I've never heard of before. Um, We won't talk about it now because I want to spoil it for you guys. Watch it. Tick is great, though. Amazon Prime. Check it out. Um, But the big news, Game of Thrones Season 7 ended yesterday. We have one season left of Game of Thrones. And let me tell you, like I've, I've watched all the episodes. I haven't read any of the books. I don't know the names as well as some people, so you'll have to forgive me. But this episode was not there. There weren't any like shocking jaw dropping like I, things I wasn't expecting. Everything I saw, I was expecting, but it was all amazing. Now, Juan, you don't watch the show, do you? No, I don't watch the show. You gave up on it, right? Yes. What season did you give up on? Um, where the book uh, Dance of Dragons would have picked up on. Okay, which is what season? I think what like five. Like towards the end of five. 
I yeah, towards the end of five. Okay, so we're we just finished season seven. Listen, this, straight up, okay. Seeing everybody came back together in this dragon like coliseum thing. I forget what they called it, but you, a, a lot of a lot of reunions happening. You had a. Uh, you had Brianna Tarth reunited with Jamie Lannister, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and she also reunited with with the Hound because they had that massive fight. The Hound reunited with the Mountain, their brothers. If you didn't know, yes, knew. Um, uh, friggin' um, uh, Tyrion reunited with Cersei. It, uh, um, um, it, it, just all these characters coming together that had little side plots happening throughout the last seven seasons that come together to fight the common evil which is the white walker they reveal the white walker and cersei's like sign me up sign me up i will join you guys and help fight and really yeah because she's like that's for real right there Mm. and so i think jamie was like relieved by it he was like thank god okay because that shit's real right there Mm -hmm. um the guy from the iron islands what's his name uh, the ev- the evil uncle, Euron? Euron. Yeah, Euron's like, fuck this, I'm leaving. I'm going. They can't swim in water. I'm yeah. leaving. I'm going back to the Iron Islands. That's uh, You guys can deal with this, and then we'll. Do, I'll my s- now favorite person in the Game of Thrones I'll, universe. I'll, I'll, I'll live on. I live on my. I live on my island. But yeah. see, the catch was Cersei was like Jon Snow. You need to. You need to like not get involved in this war between Daenerys and I. That's inevitable to happen. Post this one against the dead. If you could do that, I'm game. And John's like, I already bent the knee to Daenerys. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And everybody was pissed. Even Daenerys was pissed. She was like, what the fuck? Can you lie? Just to her for for once. But he's like, my honor. Yeah, my good honor. for him, man. And Cersei knew it. Because she called him out. She's like, you know, you're Ned Stark's son. Yeah, and if exactly. I know Ned Stark, you're not going to lie to me. You yeah. know? And she called that shit. Yeah. Um, so Cersei was like, typical Cersei. Yeah. Walked away. I was like, well, guess what? Fuck you guys. I'm gone. You know, mm-hmm. and so like everybody, like Tyrion was like, "Fuck," you know. Jonah Mormont was like, "Fuck," fucking uh, Daenerys was like, "Fuck you, Jon Snow." And Jon Snow tried to justify himself, but I think he realized that, like, damn, we're fucked now just because I couldn't fucking lie for. No, good for him. Well, whatever. E- either way, Tyrion, Tyrion went and met with Cersei face to face with the mountain behind him, hovering behind him, uh, the whole time, and like he was just trying to like appeal to her whatever's left of that her that's good and she basically called him out and said Tyrion you're the reason why I am the way I am you killed my entire family starting with father and she, and, and Tyrion was like bullshit dude bullshit but she's like listen if you didn't kill father my children wouldn't be dead right now because there's no way uh, the one kid wouldn't have killed himself the girl wouldn't have been poisoned by the Dornish because her the father would have never stood for that shit mm-hmm. that shit would just would have never happened he kept order but since Tyrion killed the dad Hence, all the children died. But Tyrion was like, listen, you know I love those fucking kids. And Cersei, I think, knew it. And she didn't end up killing them. And she ended up going back to the arena and saying, okay, listen, I'm going to join up with you guys. So, it alli- all worked out. alliance made. Alliance made. Um, but then after that, Jamie's getting talking to all the generals or whatever and getting everything together. And Cersei's like, what are you doing? He's like, what do you mean what I'm doing? I'm getting, ready to- I'm getting the armies together to go north. And she's like, oh, no way. I was bullshitting. We're not doing that. We're going to let them fight each other and let and let the dead kill all, all my enemies, Daenerys' people and the northerners and stuff like that. And once they do all that, then I'm going to take the armies from the Iron Bank, which are like 20,000 people, mercenaries. Right. You know, and we're going to we're going to conquer everybody. But Jamie was like, I can't do that. I can't do uh, that. What a bitch. Because because uh, I you know, he swore an oath and stuff like that. So Cersei, like, threatened him. Oh, like him. he swore an oath to yeah. the king. Well, no, he just said, he, no, he before said. Before he kills him. No, he, well, shut up, whatever. All I'm saying is that, like, no, he said. 100%, man. He, he said, he said, listen, I gave my word. I'm going to do it. Listen, Jamie's trying to be a better person. You know, I, I hated Jamie in season one and two and so forth. But after he got his hand cut off, something happened to him. He, he, he yeah, got he good. He became a bitch. No, he got good. He got good. I like Jamie. I'm a fan of Jamie. I really yeah. am. And uh, Jamie, Jamie. Abandoned Cersei's. He's Cersei he's he's right. Yeah, Cersei's like Cersei threatened his life and and he called her bluff. The mountain was right there with the fucking sword pulled and everything. Mm. Um, and uh, and so so Jamie's marching north, and uh, meanwhile, fucking Littlefinger's dead. Good. Finally. Piece of shit. I mean, I liked watching Littlefinger because he was conniving and you know there's something All entertaining right. about <laughs> watching him, but he deserved to die. And uh, Arya killed him nasty style Good. with that dragon dagger. Yeah, you know? was, she on, was he on that list of hers? 
So who does Arya need? Who's still on Arya's list? Cersei. That, 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 yeah, that, just Cersei, right? That's that Power of Rangers plug. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but, uh, so the sisters, I, I was worried about that too because I thought Sansa was going to bitch out and fucking betray Jon Snow mm. and try to take everybody. But wasn't the case. All is well in the north, kind of, because even above north of that, you know, we see the, the Night King uh, riding the dragon, Viseron, I think it is, is the one that got killed. Viserion, sorry. And, uh, and blowing blue fire, destroying the wall with the blue fire. Huh. And, and the season ends with the whole, like, the, the, the people going. Now, another thing, no surprise, Jon Snow and Daenerys fuck. Like, for real. Like, they're both butt-ass naked. We see more Jon Snow than we do Daenerys, actually. Yeah. You know, which I, like, whatever, you know? No. You know, uh, but uh, while that was happening, uh, Bran is is revealing to Samuel Tarly, who showed up at Winterfell, that that um, Jon Snow is actually a Targaryen, and he's Aegon. Is that his name? That's what I mean. Aegon. A- a- I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, Aegon's Aegon Targaryen, and he is actually the heir to the Iron Throne. Okay. So while he's while while he's revealing his origins, they cut back and forth between Bronn talking and flashbacks of the past, and then him and Daenerys fucking. Okay. Big old puddle of incest. Got big old puddle of incest. And the, sure. my only my only complaint with that is like, uh, Bronn Bron was like, listen, he's still a bastard. He's just not a snow. He's something else because he came from a different area, uh, sand and uh, and. And Samuel was like, "No, no, I saw in the Meister's private diary that 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 he uh he married his parents privately," and like Bron was like, "Oh, so he like goes back Three Eye Raven style and sees it." But if he's the Three Eye Raven, doesn't he know everything already? Like, how did he miss that? I think that's a little, a slight little flaw there, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. So here we are, the Great Wars coming up. Uh, and I don't know. And it doesn't come out till 2019. I've heard. Is that when? Yeah, 2019. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. So this whole year coming up, 2018, they're not going to finish it? No, no Game of Thrones 2018. What the hell? Listen, At least tell me Westworld 2 is going to come in 2018. I waited five years between okay. books. Each one took like five years. So you can wait a year. Oh. Yeah, welcome to my pain. Well, I mean... You haven't watched the show, but based on what I told you, based on what you read up on, what do you think of Game of Thrones? I mean, it's it's ending how I imagined. I mean, a lot of people g- could guess uh, early on in the series that Jon Snow was, was a Targaryen. I mean, when he but, first but, got to the right, wall, it was pretty obvious. Since he's Aegon Targaryen, though, does this totally get rid of that fire ice thing? Because he's really fire, right? So it's fire, fire. Well, isn't his mother... Her mother's a Stark. Yeah, but his dad's... That's where the ice is. I get that, but he's... I, so his his father yes. is a Targaryen. Yes, His I mother's a Stark. Yes. Fire and ice. I, yeah, but, no, but he was supposed to represent ice and, and Daenerys was supposed to represent fire, right? No, I never fell for it. I, no. All right, well, whatever. But but that's that's what it is. He, he, he has blood. His bloodlines are from the north and from, from the Targaryen. All right, so let's make a prediction right now. <clears throat> sure. If I'm still alive in 2019, we can <clears throat> check this out. How does this end, and who is on the throne? L- what happens to our characters? Who's dying? Who kills them? How is this happening? Well, let's, uh, let's start at the top. Who's on the throne? Who's on the throne? Yeah. Oh, uh, Daenerys. I say Jon Snow. No, Jon Snow dies. Jon Snow 100% dies. If there's one thing that this series does is punish good people. No, I think Jon Snow is on the throne. I think I think uh I think Daenerys dies and I think Jon Snow Yeah, Jon mm. Snow's on the throne. Sure. I I'm saying Daenerys on the throne and Jon Snow's dead. Who kills Cersei cuz she's going to die? Arya. Arya. Arya 100% will kill Cersei. Who kills Jamie? Jamie will die in a battle with the White Walkers. 
You think so? Yeah, absolutely. That's a shitty way to die. I believe the last Lannister left will be Tyrion. He'll survive just to be a la- just to be the last Lannister. I think Tyrion will. And it'll su- be funny. I think I think Tyrion will survive as well. I think Cersei's going to die, and um, and I think we're going to lose the other dragon too, the smaller one. Okay. I think the big one's going to live. The big one's going to survive through the whole thing. Drogon. What is? Yeah, Drogon. Drogon. Drogon's going to live, and I think. I think we're going to see Jon Snow on the throne with Drogon next to him. Daenerys dies. End of story. What I would happen is I want the White Walkers to just kill everybody. But we know it's not going to happen. No, the White Walkers are not going to try. Who kills, who kills the Night King? I'm going to go with Bran. No, Bran doesn't even get involved. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Bran... Bran is, is going to become the Night King. How about that? Oh, Bran is the Night King. Yeah, there you go. Bran is the Night King? There you go. He changes the future. Oh, I don't know about that. Whatever. No, just wait, man. I, I didn't even see it. Lo- it. Lots of go. what ifs, but basically you think Daenerys is going to ultimately end up on the throne. I think it's Jon Snow. Jon Snow is going to be dead. Arya is going to kill Cersei and take her baby to raise the baby as an assassin. Um... Let's Does see. Sansa die? Yeah, Sansa's gonna. No, no, Sansa will be in Winterfell. Uh, Bran, Bran will be the Night King. Um, John is obviously gonna be dead, and there you go. Someone needs to put Theon out of this fucking misery. <laughs> Although he came, he he did he did he did man up in this episode. Well, he manned up because he got need where there's no balls or dick or whatever. Well, he's st- he still manned up. He's not really manning up. There's nothing there. No, I I'm just saying, he manned All up. All right, whatever. All right. Uh, do we have any comments, questions from anybody? Um, do you think there will be new dragon eggs? Who's asking this? Mark Landis. Oh, new dragon eggs. Mm. Didn't they get the dragon eggs from like a, a gypsy fortune teller or something? Or it was a gift to Daenerys from, from some tribe or something? Like where did they come from? I don't, I don't, I'm... I, Mark, I um, maybe like a last shot of some may. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think the dragons are that important to the story. So I don't think we're gonna see any dragons' eggs or any allusion to any I, dragons. I don't think we're. Listen, I think for those who play video games, I think they're gonna take a God of War approach to this. And if you play God of War three, the the game ended with basically the greek gods going away and humans starting civilization living on their own so i think everything that we see as mythology in this show is going to go away because it's going to set the pace for human history as we know it so dragons are going away undead things are going away uh any other mythical weird fucking magic shit it's out the door i say well well, drogon's going to be left but he's going to be the last dragon and once he's done he's done the Night King and all the, the undead are going to go away, and that that whole thing is going to be done with as well, and uh, and we kind of normalize the the world of Game you know, of it'd Thrones. It'll be great if at the end of Game of Thrones, Drogon speaks and it's Sean Connery's voice. <laughs> Shut up. That movie was bad. Braveheart was amazing. It wasn't Braveheart. Wasn't it? No, Braveheart's with Mel Gibson. No, not Braveheart. You're right. It was Dragonheart. Yeah, Dragonheart. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. You any, heard that HBO? <laughs> any other questions or comments? It was a gift from Illyrio. I think the dragon Mm-hmm. Yeah. The gift was from Illyrio, apparently. Okay. I don't remember. I'm not going to read those fucking books again. That was a nightmare. Anything else? And Juan seems to be contemplating life as he stares into the distance. Well, I believe the Illuminati are going to get me now, so. Well, you did. you did put him out there. Well, someone needs. Well, Taylor Swift did, and and now she's suffering. But no, I she's mean, she's, she's no, dead. She's dead. She's, she's not, dead. The Taylor Swift right. that we have in right now that we see is not the real Taylor Swift, apparently. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Beyonce and Jay Z had a little lizard baby, and it's it's all. Wow. Yeah. Who else is in the Illuminati? Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is a reptilian. Wow. Is it all just like E News celebrities? 
No, 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 not not all celebrities. There's obviously like rituals and stuff that happen. No, but but like, are there politicians in the Illuminati? Yeah, yeah, but they all they actors. All have, yeah, they always announce themselves. Like one, the the Illuminati always has to announce their plans. Oh, which is why they announced that Taylor Swift is dead. Wow. No. See, I think Illuminati, and I think Mister Fantastic, Charles Xavier, Captain America, Namor, Doctor Strange. I think Illuminati, you know, Trump, the Clintons, okay, well, Bush, Senior. Well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, 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 I think that's it, right? I think we covered it. I think we covered that. Okay, um, we have a Labor Day weekend coming up, uh, so therefore we will not be uh, we will not be filming Monday uh, next week because it's Labor Day. And we're going to be closed. No, we are going no, to be we open. We're going to be open. We're going to be working. open on Labor Day, so, so come it doesn't on in. Fucking matter. Come on in and show Juan and Susie some love. Bring yeah. bring them hot dogs and hamburgers from your grill. Um, and uh, aside from that, when we come back next time, we're going to do a full review, spoilers and all of the tick and whatever else happens in pop culture in the next week or so, right? Sure. Uh, we are here live at Corker Comics on 107th and 8th Street in Miami. We also have a store in Pembroke Pines, just east of University on Pines Boulevard. And uh, we have the best Funko Pop selection in all of South Florida at the best price. Yep. I truly believe that. Do you believe that one? I believe that. Did we get anything new in, by the way? Any new ones? We got we got the Justice League already. Right. NFL Pops finally come and came NFL in. NFL Pops. Um, Smurfs, if right. you guys are into Smurfs. We got some restocks. Man at Arms is in that box. Oh, yeah, we got the Man, of, Man at Arms from uh, He-Man. From or He-Man, right. Masters of the Universe. You know, I got attacked for saying He-Man instead of Masters of the Universe. By who? Some guy. He's like, it's called Masters of the Universe. And I'm like... It's fucking He Man. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's the same shit, dude. You know, whatever. Oh, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. You're not wrong, but whatever. Um, I, I, you, you got weird faces at Suzy Fett. Are people saying stuff? Oh, we good though. We good. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, DC Batman Metal is in Dark Knight Metals in full effect. It's good. Uh, Secret. Oh, this week, huh? Is it the this new, week? No. Well, the new this week is the. Uh, the one the shot, the Aquaman metal, right? I don't know. One shot, we have them. We'll have them in right. stock at both stores. Uh, Secret Empires wrapping up for Marvel Comics. Yeah. If you're if you're uh, into that, fi- finally that's wrapping up, and we got the Legacy coming in, uh, the new thing mm-hmm. from Marvel. And uh, other than that, that's it, right? All right, guys. All right, for Atomic Pop, I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. Thank you.